And continuing on with the mount installation, here is the side with the ion arm and ion tower. So what you want to do is on the spirit pack, it has these two smaller screws. You'll actually want to back out this one and then remove completely this one. And what's nice is that actually is basically good enough for your pilot hole. So you can just start right there by using your quarter inch drill bit, lining that up in there. Or in my case, I am gonna go ahead and enlarge it with an eighth. Just don't feel comfortable. So let's go ahead and just line that up, shoot that in there. step bit to enlarge the hole. These work really well and they clean up themselves really nicely as they go. And you can see that that is a nice chamfered hole. So we can take our, again, our cap socket with our brass screw or brass washer and we'll take this mount and this piece actually has the brass facing out like this and also from the top and then has these legs and these kind of cover the factory if you go in here you can see the screws that kind of come out of the bottom so this piece just drops in just like this if you have it in backwards, it will sit too high, like this, and things will not line up. So you want to make sure that these cutouts go towards the outside of the case. And then you can also see that the holes nicely lined up as well. So we can just take our bolt, give it a good tightening as well. it up really well and away we go that's another nicely mounted side piece so let's go ahead and move on to the next section and here we are with the last mounting position and this is right near the V hook so we use this mount which has a little keyed top and this doesn't extend all the way to the bottom of this portion just because it would interfere with the v-hook and depending on how you have that set up so what you do is you take this piece line it up with the notch right here and just either clamp or hold it in place and then again you have the pilot hole drill guide on the back so you can drill that through there and then what i would recommend if you have is a drill bit with an extension because this is got a lot of stuff in the way here but let's go ahead and just drill this hole as well I would highly recommend clamping this if you can all right and our pilot hole is through and now that we have that and that goes nicely right between those ribs and that is to give room for the socket head with washer but let's go ahead again and take our step bit enlarge this to a quarter of an inch Double check the fit. 
a nice flush fit. Install our mount. And we tighten this guy up as well. Again, I'm hand tightening these, but you'll want to probably use some thread locker and a actual Allen wrench to complete the process. But as you can see, that now looks beautiful and that is all mounted up. So at this point, we now have all four of our mounts in place and we're ready to drill out the holes on our motherboard.